Hey, Susie Q, who won that backpack? And I sure could use a sweet treat. Susie, 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 Susie. Product reviews coming to you. Ow! I'm Susie Q, and I'm a shopaholic. And I'm best friend, and I'm an alcoholic. And welcome to Susie Q product review and giveaway meeting. Hey, best friend, how was your birthday? It was great. I jumped out of a plane. Now I can check that off my bucket list. You mean your stupid list, but oh well. Where are all the shopaholics? Cause not no one answered the questions correctly. So no one won the Jordan backpack and I was so sure a shopaholic would have loved to have one. Oh well, you can lead a horse to the water, but you can't make him into a shopaholic. Susie, I don't think that's how that saying goes. Well, maybe on the next giveaway, we'll actually have some winners. Yeah, I know our sponsor's loving us so far. She is not losing any inventory. Yeah, but she may drop our ass since we ain't getting no participation. Girl, you funny. But let's shout out eBay sellers shopping for you 2020 for providing us with these wonderful items and hope she gives us a little more time to get this train rolling. And remember, Shopaholics, everything we say can be a question for the next giveaway. What you got for us, best friend? National Chocolate Chip Cookie Day is today, August 4th, and we are celebrating it this year by, well, eating a chocolate chip cookie. We all had tried chocolate chip cookies, whether they were warm and gooey right out the oven or fresh and chewy from the grocery store. I like my cookies cold and crunchy out of the fridge. That's nasty. The first chocolate chip cookie was actually made by accident in Whitman, Massachusetts. 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 Massachusetts in an old inn called the Toll House. In 1938, Ruth Graves Wakefield planned on making regular chocolate cookies, but got the great idea of throwing in chunks of a chocolate bar. Much to her surprise, the chocolate did not mix too well, and, well, the cookie was just filled with tasty chunks of chocolate. This fortunate turn of events led to the emergence of the chocolate chip cookie and the birth of the Toll House Company. As time went on, different versions of the cookie were made using white chocolate or dark chocolate. Ruth Graves' chocolate chip cookie started to get more and more famous. Finally, Nestle reached out to Ruth and agreed to add her recipe to their wrapper in exchange for a lifetime supply of free cookies. And she took it. Wow, what a deal. I would have took that. Wait, I think I would have liked to get paid also. Ruth got took. It's estimated that a person eats about 35,000 cookies in a lifetime, which is crazy if you think about it. That's a big estimation. Please tell me more. In 1963, won't that run the time? I wasn't born in 63, but go ahead. You sure? In 1963, Chips Ahoy debuted in U.S. supermarkets. In 91, Ben and Jerry's creates waves of excitement around the globe after they released the chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. And in 97, the chocolate chip cookie is named and recognized as the official state cookie of Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Mm, Whatever. 53% of Americans prefer chocolate chip cookies to other cookies. 13.5% of Americans have admitted to having eaten at least 20 chocolate chip cookies in one sitting. That's a lot of damn cookies. Yeah, they greedy. There are three national chocolate chip cookie day activities. One, bake a batch of cookies. Two, give your friends some cookies. And three, go bakery hopping. Where they do that at? I can think of a few hopping ideas and bakery ain't one of them. That's why I'm an alcoholic, Susie. Mm -hmm. There are 7 billion chocolate chip cookies eaten in the U.S. every year. And our next giveaway can help with all them chocolate chip stains. That's with the help of Tide Hygienic Clean Heavy Duty Power Pods. We eat 7 billion cookies a year. That's why I'm fat. Sure. We need to be giving away diet pills instead of detergent. Not just any detergent, but the best laundry detergent, according to experts. Yeah, the top five best laundry detergents, according to experts, is number one, Tide Hygienic Clean Heavy Duty Power. This detergent is consistently high ranking fan favorite. And who cares about two through five because we got the number one. You will have a chance to win this 48 capsule Tide detergent when we drop our next giveaway in a few days. So subscribe and hit the notification bell and get ready because I know a few people who can use this. Yep, the average cost for this item is $22 to $25. Calling all college students and parents. Set your clock because there is one thing I know for sure. College students accumulate is dirty, stinky, and yes, nasty clothes. And a broken, busted college student can definitely use this. Now, I can understand broke, but why they gotta be busted, Susie? 
When I was in college, my mom didn't even wash my clothes, but she did take me out to eat in grocery shopping. Thanks, mom. Sounds like you have a really nice mom. So let's all thank best friend's mom for helping thank the sister out. Okay, much. shopaholics, get ready for this tie detergent drop and answer the questions in the comments and email your answer to our email in the description so we can give away our first product. Yeah, because we owe for three. So help us out. Bye. Bye. You think anyone will participate? Nope. <laughs> <laughs>